Did you know the first impression is your last impression? Within 90 seconds, people make a subconscious judgment about you based on the clothing color alone. The clothing colors you select when dressing up are of particular importance. So in this video, you will discover seven surprising things your outfit color says about you. So let's jump right into the video. First, when you want to turn heads, stick to these key styling tips. When it comes to yellow, treat it the way you would a yellow traffic light. Approach with caution, because yellow can be polarizing. On the other hand, it's seen as a very positive color in general. Yellow is a warm and fun color. Most people identify yellow with sunshine and happiness. When you're feeling playful, popping yellow into your outfit can bring a smile to others and to yourself. On the other hand, playfulness may not be what you're trying to convey in a workplace setting, and overuse of yellow can be off-putting. You really can't go wrong with wearing blue. Blue is linked to impressions of trustworthiness and competence. Back in 2013, research from CareerBuilder found that blue was the color the highest number of hiring managers thought was the best color to wear for an interview. The best color to wear if you want to make a good first impression, like at a job interview or meeting the new dude's parents. That's because blue clothes indicate freshness, peace, and loyalty. When attending a work interview, choose navy blue to show you are in control while portraying calm, truth, confidence, and security. Red is bold, eye-catching, and power color. It is definitely flattering on many people. Red will definitely make you stand out. Red dress expresses confidence. A person who wears it feels seductive and dominant, but there are some things that you will need to consider. For example, if you've got a date or are heading out hoping to meet someone, red is a great choice, but you might want to avoid it for a job interview. Therefore, I would suggest that when going for a job interview, it is best to avoid this color as it can convey the wrong message to the interviewer. No matter the shade, crimson, scarlet, or wine, pair them with brown, blue, or gray colors, and they will enhance your overall look instantly. Red can also be paired with neutral colors like white or black quite easily. For classy outfits, go for grays, browns, or earthy tones. In summers, tangerines, blues, and mustards look vibrant, but overall, it depends on where you are headed and what your personal preference is. But here's a list with a little bit of everything. Create a bold look by pairing a red outfit with purple shoes or accessories. Avoid silver accessories with a red outfit as they clash. Wear gold, white, or neutral toned accessories instead. Warm skin tones look great in warm colors like red, coral, and amber while cool skin tones should opt for shades of red that are closer to maroon or rose. White shows organization. In order to keep an all-white ensemble crisp and clean, the wearer must be at the top of his or her game. Balance all-white or off-white clothing with either complementing or contrasting accessories, neutrals, darks, metallics, or brights. When crafting an all-white outfit, it's best to go back to the basics. And what is more foundational in a capsule wardrobe than a delightful pair of denim? Green and teal spark creativity. Natural shades of green are calming and reassuring. If you want to get specific, one shade of green that can have an especially positive psychological impact is teal. Teal is a combination of blue and green. It's a universal color that anyone can wear. Teal conveys both stability and authority without appearing subdued or conservative in the way navy or paler blues might. Don't be afraid of pink. That means you too, men. Pink is an approachable color and can convey friendliness, 
When going into a social environment, wearing pink will soften your appearance and open the door of communication. Combining it with a dark, bolder color like navy makes an approachable looking combo and softens the darker color. This is true for men and women, so pink is definitely a good choice to make a positive impression, but on the softer side. If you want to make a strong impression and come across as bold, you may want to choose a darker, more striking color. Do not exceed three colors. Why not? Simply because if you go beyond that, it becomes very complicated to manage. As a result, your outfit will probably be out of balance. So be sure to remember this, no more than three colors. To have a perfect balance with your three colors, it is advisable to combine two strong colors with a basic color or vice versa. If you want styles that will give you a sleek, slim look, then go for a monochromatic look. It simply means dress in one color. This style has the effect of lengthening the silhouette. The fact that your outfit is not cut by another color will give you a sleek, slim look. Also, if you would like to lengthen your silhouette with harmony and elegance, play with color shades. This means associating a color with its nuances. For example, pairing night blue plus electric blue plus sky blue in an outfit. For color contrasts, use about 75% of one color and 25% of the other. For example, for a bold option, wear a blue coat with a yellow belt or blue top with yellow suit, but don't overdo the accents. For example, if you also throw in a flame-colored bag and shoes, the eye will be drawn to too many areas at once, which is not good. Instead, supplement the outfit with neutrals. Identifying which colors best flatter your specific skin tone can help you stand out in a crowd and radiate from the inside out. Color theory should never be about what colors you can and can't wear. It's more about selecting the shade that will best flatter your coloring. But remember, take these suggestions with a grain of salt. What matters is that you wear whatever you feel most comfortable in. If you're not sure where to begin when it comes to mixing and matching clothes, consider using a color wheel. Artists and fashion designers use color wheels to create color schemes that produce a desired artistic effect.